Hi, and welcome to Stats TV. My name is Belen Bass. As you, as you guys know, something is terribly wrong with my phone. Uh, woke up and my screen. You know how when you drop your phone and all those colors and stuff is on your phone? I just called T-Mobile. Uh, I'm leaving T-Mobile. They, I, I, shit, I'm leave, I'm tired of this. This phone has been giving me problems. It's still glitching. My Someone's still listening on my calls. They're not doing nothing about it still. I think I'm moving over to Sprint. It's going to be my last. I got to have my phone. It still works good, but it's like something is wrong with it. It's just like sitting there. I have several screen protectors on it. I don't know what. Well, it's good that's happening because I was planning on changing my number and getting a new phone anyway. Hi, my name is Belen Bess, and this is your 12-month reading. God bless you. I cannot wait to see the new year. So, for number one, for number one, the card is talking about that there's some type of situation going on. I see a change in responsibility when it comes down to someone that you are thinking about. Somebody's walking away from the situation with you. I'm also seeing where you're worried about that in some kind of way. The person is walking away. I do see where you're walking towards more money. There is some type of... Um, Let's open my there is some type of new money's coming in. It's, there is something that you love to do, and that that, that you love to do is uh, going to open up the doors for you. I do see where there are, are some type of, yeah, this relationship is over. You guys are not going to take anything to the next level. Let this person go that's trying to leave, okay? I do see where, where you're going to be getting together in the same breath with someone trying to make it work. Just let it go. Whoever this is you was with or you thinking about, let that go. That's been gone. They've been gone. They've been walked off from you. There's no rekindling there. Okay? So when we get down to the sec second time frame, let's talk about it. I'm watching this cart because I don't know what's wrong with this phone. It's ready to start, but it's still, like, downloading. Okay. And the second month, it says there's going to be some type of change in the dynamics of a situation. Maybe you, maybe I feel like the person is gone. Maybe you'll have hope for something that's going to be coming back in because it shows a change in communication with someone. So, I mean, maybe he straightens up. Maybe somebody straightens up. Maybe you meet someone that you're wanting to get with. This could be all in your mind. It does show you moving towards more money here. It shows that you do love what you do. I see more money coming in for you. I see negotiations. I see judgments about what you think. It's talking about <clears throat> you going after what you want in November. And what you want is an ultimate relationship, but you're willing to put it on pause. You wouldn't have put it on pause for something else. You wouldn't have put your dreams of having an ultimate relationship on pause for something else. There's some. There's a bigger picture here in your cards. It's like you're. It's like you're not seeing something. It's like you're not seeing something. It's like your focus is like on this love stuff, love stuff, love stuff. I don't know if you're with someone. Oh my God. I don't know if you're with someone or you are not with someone. I'm sorry. Excuse me. We're going to have to move this. Pops. Are you on the game? No, I'm doing a mission. I can only do a mission. I don't know what's going on. Always busy, huh? I'm on a person. I don't know what's going on. Anything could happen with Sass TV. Oh, there it is. I'm so sorry. Everything. All my appliances, fucking food. So that's what's going on with that. It's like there's a bigger picture going on. And you're not seeing it. Something you're skipping over and something that you're missing, which is allowing this situation to see like you're going in circles. There is something you're not seeing. I will suggest you leave love alone and keep the focus on income. Keep the focus on your career, okay? So let's go into the fourth month. Let me check it in. Let me check it. 
So this is what's going on for this situation. It shows that you are moving towards more money. Now there was some confusion for now. I was just going to tell you, you look like your reading is going down the drain. But for those November, October, November, hmm, October and November and that December, it's not good. It's not good. You're just going to be struggling to recover yourself or getting back on a path. Not even a path. Find a direction that works for you and go in it. Let love come into your life. Don't get so illusioned in a relationship to where it takes you off your rocker. But don't get into so much of what you do so much that it keeps you from where you want to be. So here we go. You're back at where you want to be by the uh, by this time. It's also talking about you traveling towards some better communications. This looks like business. You may hear from someone at that time and you never want to speak to them again because I see endings with conversations. I'm also seeing you thinking about uh talking about something there's a lot of communication going on with business here and it's going to pick up even 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 more at that second time <clears throat> i see a lack thereof in some kind of way they may cut hours or they may push you back or you may not get paid for something and whatever this is but still love is on your mind and changes and this individual and the responsibilities of the situation this is the thing that you want this i'm saying your illusions what you want to happen? You want somebody. You want somebody, and nobody, and that person. Uh, uh. <laughs> Leave love alone. Whatever is in your mind about a relationship, drop it. I hate to be the one to tell you this, but that's not gonna happen. And I'm not being rude. I'm being blunt because you wrapped up in it, and it's not allowing you to see other areas of your life where you're gonna be doing good. Okay. So for the next almost four months, it's all about bringing you down from what you thought, bringing you down, bringing you down. It's like you keep holding on to something. It's bringing you down. It's bringing you down. There may be some type of pushback in income, but it's just temporary. And then things are bringing you down again and bringing you down. When I say bringing you down, I don't mean bringing you down. I mean it's starting to calm you down out of those thoughts of expectation of what you want in a relationship with someone that's not reciprocating the same thing to you whoever this other partner is they've been gone they're not gonna move they're not gonna turn you away they're not gonna step up they're not gonna step out they're gone and, and i think that you're having trouble with getting over that but it's gonna be good it's gonna be good and if not this is something that you are clearly 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 thinking about so here is your fifth month please give me something else because i ain't gonna be able to keep going on on this So, How do I play this game? so when we get into that fifth month, I do see where, uh, whatever that was that you had lost the previous month, I do see you kind of worrying about that just a little bit. But you get back on your toes because whatever it is, you get back some kind of what? It says that you're moving towards some better communications again. I do see you must work in communications or where you talk to a lot of people or something that what you do is that you talk to a lot of people. I see that picking back up for you. Now, I do see some type of change. I do see a, a person here that that's, that's you just won't let it go. <laughs> Uh, you're thinking about this individual again, and it's in your cards. Also, it's talking about your judgments, and you're moving towards leave love alone. This year, you will kind of meet someone that's going to be your friend at first. It's not this other guy. You're the person that's keeping this situation alive with someone. If you're not dating anyone, then it's something's here that you need to clear up with the relationship that you didn't get over. But you do have someone coming in as a friend. I see a friend with a potential love a potential love interest coming in by that fifth month here we go it's talking about summertime for that potential okay so here comes number six In the six time frame, money, money, money is everywhere for you. I do see where there's some type of loving feelings or you're wanting some type of loving feelings. So your cards is showing that you're with someone, but I know you're not because it keeps showing you worry and this is what's in your mind. Now, right here, you're headed, you're going to try to fix things. This is what I like to see. Finally, by the six time frame, you move into trying to fix whatever this is mentally. 
it's like money's going good relationships i have a little friend that we're being friends and you're gonna try to fix that communications are good with someone that's your friend that, that hasn't turned into anything yet but you have made a decision to do something financially and once again, you get into, will this work out? And, and what you want to happen in this situation where you're putting your money out for, for some reason. There, this Whatever this is that you're trying to put your money out for, it's going to work around that six month, okay? And also at the same time, new developments in the way you see things. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. You're keeping your eyes on some changes. This person that's around is very responsible. He's a tall guy. That's what it says. He's a tall guy and very responsible. You're going to see more of him coming in in that six month towards the end of that six month he's so cheery too he's a nice guy okay so here we go into your seventh month it was a real struggle to get you through them first four months i almost got a headache that was too much even for me boy you can hold some stress honey you sure can hold it but you're holding the wrong kind because it pushed you back that whole time Okay, and here we go uh, with this eighth month. With this eighth month, uh, it's still talking about communication. It's talking, it's still talking about what you want to be and where you want to be. Uh, I do see things are being brighter right now. It's talking about July for some reason, and it's talking about happier times and more family time for you. A, a bigger perspective. You're trying to make a decision where maybe you may be incorporating this person in your life and in business because I see business minded and two people together. It's talking about a corporation or being incorporated with someone that is like minded like yourself. It's marriage on the table. You're moving too fast, like you was doing with the other thing slow down slow down this is just your friend slow down this is just your friend you're thinking about hitting a new direction you're thinking about moving at this time at this time at this eighth month when you get to the end of this eighth month or this eighth time frame when you see that maybe you and this person maybe you know something about them you, you and this person are gonna have something in common and when you find that out, i just feel businessy around here now uh what you need to do is Quit moving so fast and love. You just go way ahead and it's not what you think. This person is going to come in as a friend first and possibly a business partner in some kind of way. Things are going to be ending in relationships when you make trouble in your mind before it happens. Like, will this last? Will this be good? Will I have to walk away from another beginning? Well, let's go ahead and talk about that. Because at that time, you will be heading towards something new in a new beginning when we get down to that eighth month. When we get to that eighth month, you're going to be heading. My phone is doing all kinds of stuff, and I don't know. It's like three of me on this screen. I don't know what's going on with it. You will be heading towards a new beginning around that eighth month, some kind of way. Mm-hmm. And this person is behind you. So you could have had this new beginning in October if you just move past your fears. Know when things are over. Know when to let these illusions go away. Okay, you have got to let some things go. There is no relationships that are going to be working out for you within the next several months. You have somebody that's going to come in as a friend and it's going to go slow. But sometimes the way you guys are going to get into business some kind of way. You, you always in your mind about what you want to happen, which causes problems for you because those things have never happened. Each new person is, is, is a new perspective. OK, just remember that. Don't get over illusion to where you're ending things before they begin. You end things that did not in the way you liked it you don't hold on to those things and then get into the next relationship and be like this is what's going to happen no that load goes to the last man whatever the fears are go to the last man this that you're thinking does not go with the man now this man is just your friend and you're already saying well let me end it because it's not what i want no those are the fears from the other relationship that went on too long and there was nothing to happen nothing came out of that other relationship but a whole bunch of struggle this is your friend Move in the new direction with this individual as your friend. And that's what's going to be happening at that time. Here we go for number nine. Oh, my gosh, it really is bad. It's bad, ain't it? Yeah, it really is bad. Mm -hmm. Don't touch it. You see the I'm time? I, don't touch want, it. I ain't doing no. Look. I'm not even going to touch it. Oh, God. Even my hand looks glitchy in it, too. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get another one tomorrow. Why? Look at that this one did? They gonna take it back. This one's still on the warranty. Oh. Move. I'm, I'm, I'm. Okay, so here goes your number nine. In your number nine, we're gonna be talking about career. Now you are gonna be going towards 
something that you like. There's some something that you're, it's just something about your cards that always flip over, like a relationship come in and then it flips over for some reason. Not a bad thing though. Not a bad thing though. So this career thing is going to be going good. It does show that what you're wanting right now is not going to happen in relationships. You're still holding on to some old things. Whatever that you're putting off is making people do that. Like, it's something that you put off to people. I don't know what it is. People are getting the wrong idea about you. Or maybe you're doing it on purpose. Right now, I don't see anybody in the picture. I do see you gathering things or trying to move from one state of your life still to the next state of your life. You're very stubborn. You're very stubborn. What's that? Beauty. You're very stubborn. It's very hard to do a reading like this. You're very stubborn. And I want to say you don't like to listen I'm either, but that don't have nothing to do with me. So, um, money's going to be still be good for you. You're all over the place. You're all over the place in thoughts, and it's very hard to bring it in. There is new money's coming in. The whole, at the end of the day, if you want to move on with your life to, a, to another country, to another state, to another being, to another whatever, go ahead and do it. Do you want to play? Pop? You're in your mind a lot. You pre planning your mind. And it ruins things. You pre planning your mind and it ruins things. For you. You have a lot of build up. But you're so stubborn that everything, all the changes that you go through. All the things that happen in your life always happen emotionally for you because you don't let nothing go. Wherever you keep it is where it's going to change. So you keep a lot of things in your mind. So that's why it's almost torment for you. It's almost all the things that happen emotionally. You don't speak up enough about things also. If you're hurting or something, you just go and think about it and pre-plan it in your mind and it gets worse. You have to find some form of expression. You're painting anything like that that can release some of these old clouds out of you. There is potential for good things in your cards. The reason it's not coming in the way you want because you're not expressive and you're not changing the way you do things. So routines are going to continue to happen. Routine, routines, 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 routines. Possibly person that's coming in, but he seems so different because you have all these things in your mind that's not releasing for this energy to come towards you, okay? You're going to have to relax a little bit, do things different because this ain't working. This is your 10th month. Yeah, play you're going to keep getting the same results over and over again. It's all because of you. I'm not trying to be rude. It is. You have potential here, but the potential not even showing up because you're so stubborn. You want things to go the way that you like to go them, and you, you, you're still planning things in an old mind frame. And you're going to be getting the results in an old mind frame. You have to expand yourself. Get out. Change the way you do things. Get out more. Move around more. Work's looking good. The only thing we're having a problem with is your emotional your your emotions your emotions are going very dark and deep is because you're not expressing meaning you're tied up in your head so much nothing new can come in to make you feel the way you want to feel or that can at least give you some chance to know that there is some freedom in the way that you think oh lord here's 10 oh what's going on please don't stop so right now it's focusing back on your career and communication there's a lot going on with work that is good still there's not going to be any marriage coming in right now i do see you wondering about new things if you're wondering if you're going to be hearing from someone those are old thoughts that person been gone now the other thing is this other individual it looks like there was a separation between you and this new friend the month before and it looks like they pop back in that next right, month uh in a good mood expressing things to you they're going to be expressing some of the things that i'm saying to you to you just like you just you seem to be a little tight you seem to be a little caught up in yourself you seem to be to yourself a lot not too expensive not too expression i don't want to say you're boring because it's not showing boring it seems like to them you're caught up somewhere else it's going to seem like to them that you're caught up somewhere else Okay, so let's go to the 11th month. So this is the 11th month, and within, it, and within that 11th month, it shows that you're going, 
you're going to start. So you get to a point to where you just let things go and you tighten back up. And it makes it so hard to see what's going on because you're in your mind about everything, which will cause you to lose out on every opportunity because you are in fear. Nothing comes in when you're in fear because you're not going to make any moves and your life is going to seem like it's not going anywhere. Okay. So you get to this point of you're like, okay, here's love. You're wondering why this person is going back and forth. I still see business here for you. I see, I do see what there's going to be some type of change between you and him. I do see what this man finally kind of steps up in a small way. Due to you. Due to you. Um, I do see where you guys are going to start talking on a different level. It does show you traveling towards what you want. You move too fast in your head. Any endings in that 11th month or whatever this month is, any endings come from insecurities. It says stay above your thought frame when it comes down to love relationships. Stay above your thought frame when it comes to making decisions and you'll come to the right answer. Changes is coming in for you. New beginnings is here for you. Every time you look around in your car, there's something good, but you're so caught up in what you want to happen your way that you don't get the seed for the blessing. You don't get the seed.